Guys, it is time for the main event of TLC, the Firefly Inferno match, the last pay-per-view match of 2020. The only way to win is to set your opponent on fire. It is Randy Orton versus The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. I have got Bray Wyatt, The Fiend, winning this one. The whole ring should hopefully, if it's a Firefly Inferno match, I don't know what's gonna be different uh, than a normal Inferno match, but traditionally, in an inferno match, ladies and gents, all the outside of the ring is set on fire. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen here, um, but we're just going to have to wait and see. It's a whole new concept. Randy Orton coming down to the ring in a, like a black hoodie with black uh, trousers on. So, you know, it's likely that he's going to get set on fire, isn't it, really? <laughs> I don't see the Fiend losing this one. Let's get right into it. And here we go. There's lots of big black poles surrounding the ringside area uh, there's nothing that i can see fire going to come out of like around the actual ring so as disappointing as it is i don't think the ring is actually going to go ablaze but uh yeah the fiends in the ring randy Orton about to get in the ring um randy definitely losing here tonight no doubt about that one but um yeah i just want to see like you know why call it an inferno match if you're not going to actually set the ring on fire uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But I'm waiting for the bell to ring just to see what actually happens. And there we go, the bell's rung. The fiend waiting in the middle of the ring. No flames, no, no sign of any flames at this point. Randy just walking around the fiend. For those of you that haven't noticed as well, Randy Orton has changed his look uh, to replicate exactly how he looked when he feuded with Bray Wyatt in 2017. Uh, he just struck The Fiend, probably not the smartest thing to do. Uh, the Fiend literally just laughing at him. I don't know what to think about this guy, it's been building as an Inferno match. I've been expecting the ring to be on fire and it's just you not. Know, it just isn't. I don't really know what to say. Finally, the fiend attacking Randy Orton, but blood just dripped down the fiend's neck as he bit his tongue. Uh, it's not like Randy Orton's hit him to make him bleed, but a bit of blood just did drip down his neck. That was very creepy. But the fiend, as you can imagine, just battering Randy Orton already. And, ladies and gentlemen, there is still no sign of any flames. So, I'm so confused. Sister Abigail Randy moves out of the way, drop kick to the fiend. Throat drop. I'm a bit disappointed, I'm not gonna lie guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Were you expecting an actual Inferno match, just like I was? You know, the, the edges of the ring, the apron to be on fire, both men fighting in a burning ring. I, I just don't know, I mean, that's what I was expecting and I thought Firefly, maybe we'll see some remnants of a Firefly Funhouse match, maybe the puppets will be out here, but so far, this is just a normal one-on-one -on -one match. I'm very confused right now. Okay, spoke too soon. There we go, there's flames. They're not around the ring, they're around the ringside area. So all of them big black poles are all on fire. I mean, it's not an Inferno match, it's not, but I suppose it is cool. Um, so, yeah, to, you know, to, to win the match, you need to set your opponent on fire. Um, and to do that, I guess you could just hold them over the flames, throw them into the flames. Um, literally all around the ringside area. N not even ringside, behind the barricade. So where the crowd would normally sit, on the floor seating, surrounded by uh, little walls and little poles, uh, big poles, not little poles, uh, with flames on. 
So yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, they're trying to get close. Maybe Bray Wyatt already trying to set Randy on fire. Um, it's clear just by the attire that Randy will be the one going uh, on fire. But uh, Bray hasn't even taken his jacket off yet. These two just fighting. Um, Randy will not get too much offense in, obviously, because The Fiend is the most dominant force in WWE. But every time he does something, move the flames go and the big fireballs. But yeah, uh, what's he getting? Bray Wyatt has just saw, seen something under the ring. It's a leather strap. Leather strap under the ring and just whipping Randy Orton. Randy Orton's not going to win this. Fiend has a leather strap. He has just set the leather strap on fire, potentially looking to hit Randy Orton with it. Randy ducks out of the way and Bray's dropped the strap. That would have been cool. That would have been really cool. Now Bray near the flames. Bray near the flames. Randy Orton trying to set the hair on fire, but no. The Fiend reverses. Okay, so how I think this match is going to end, um, I think I do see it going down that way. The Fiend setting fire to a weapon and then hitting Randy Orton with it. He has a pickaxe! No! <sighs> that was close. Rand, uh, Bray Wyatt's deck chair is there. His rocking chair, I saw it. It's right there uh, at the ringside area. The Fiend thinks he's Steve from Minecraft. He's got that pickaxe. Now throwing it, Randy Orton into the ring post. This is just a brawl. The fiend has moved the rocking chair to the to the ringside area, uh, poured gasoline all over it, uh, even bringing a little trail all the way over to where he and Randy Orton are situated. Don't know what uh, the fiend has in mind here. He might want to take his jacket off. He's probably getting a bit hot. What's he doing? Oh, and an uppercut, and he sat Randy Orton in the chair. Randy Orton sat in that chair. No, he's not gonna like the other end of it. No. The Fiend has pulled out a lighter. He's dropped it, that trail was lit up. Randy Orton moved out of the way just in the nick of time just in the nick of time but there's blood all over the chair now somehow i don't believe this was live guys i don't believe that this has been done live how is there blood all of a sudden on the chair this must have been taped surely it says live and i don't think they can lie to us so it must be i'm just confused oh randy orton using that what looks like a wooden oar just smashing the fiend repeatedly. Grabbing the steel steps now. And smashing them into the face of the fiend. And again. Randy Orton. What's he thinking now? He's going under the ring, maybe looking for another tool of destruction. He has a chain. He has a metal chain wrapping it around the fist and just punching the fiend in the face. And again. Wrapping it around his hand once more and another one. The fiend somehow still standing. Now wrapping it around the neck of the fiend and just choking him. Now it's around the face. The face of the fiend is now trying to pour. Pour? Trying to push Bray Wyatt's face. The fiend's face into the flames. Fiend managing to break it. Once again trying to regain control of this match. Randy got that chain once again. They're both back in the ring now. No! Bray Wyatt catches him! You're an Argy slamming him down! The fiend now has what I thought was a bit what, uh, what I thought was an oar before. It's actually an axe handle, the handle of an axe. He set it on fire and now just going to hit Randy Orton with it. But no, once again, Randy manages to just slither out of the way. There's a reason they call him the Viper. No, Randy's got the hangman's DDT on the apron to the floor, dropping the fiend on the concrete head first.
The opportunity has arisen. The Fiend looks to be down momentarily, but Randy hitting the mat, looking for the RKO. Will he do it? I just don't know. Setting him up. Okay, no, Mandible Claw, Mandible Claw, the Fiend got the fingers in the mouth. Mandible Claw to Randy Orton looking to put him to sleep. Randy's conscious that he's backing right into the flames. And there he is, he's in the flames, he's in the flames. No, reverses, no, the Fiend is in the flames, the Fiend is in the flames. Bray Wyatt's on fire, Bray, oh my god, oh my god, Bray Wyatt is completely submerged, Bray Wyatt is completely submerged in flames, he's on fire but he's still got it, he's lost the match, the match is over, oh KO to a burning fiend, what the hell, what the hell, the fiend is on fire, he is on fire, oh my god, Randy Orton cannot believe what he's seen. The bell hasn't yet rung. But the rules of the match where you have to set your opponent on fire somehow. And Randy Orton has done just that. Is Randy feeling... Is Randy showing mercy? Trying to just roll the fiend over. What is going on in the Viper's head right now? What are the voices telling him? That sick, sadistic look. As long as he can come over the face of the Viper. What is he thinking? Backing up and rolling out of the ring. What's he doing? No, no. Randy Orton has that gasoline once again. He's going to set the fiend alight. But this time, fully, he's going to end the man's life. He's going to kill him with fire. Randy, show mercy. Fiend hasn't moved. And just pouring the gasoline on the body of the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt is completely submerged in gasoline. I cannot believe what we are witnessing here. I'm sorry, this reaction video has probably been really long, but guys, we have never seen anything like this. We've seen JR get set on fire. We've seen Kane set people on fire, but we've never seen someone get fully set alight like Randy Orton is about to do to Bray Wyatt. No, surely not. Surely not. That's not PG. Oh my God! Oh my God! Bray Wyatt! Bray Wyatt is on fire! The Fiend is burning in the middle of the ring. The Fiend is burning in the middle of the ring. As TLC goes off the air, Randy Orton. Just murdered the fiend. 